Welcome to beautiful, historic Ron Heron Gym. I'm Chloe Gerard, your sports correspondent for OTNN, and we're reporting the girls' basketball game against the Marshall Lions. We'll be back when the game starts. Hi, welcome to beautiful, historic Ron Heron Gym. I'm Colby Gerard, your sports correspondent, and I'm broadcasting the Lady Tigers matchup against the Marshall Lions. They're doing the starting lineup, so let's watch. Okay, the, so the starting lineups for Marshall was number 10, Ali Compton, number 11, Maya Osborne, number 23, Macy Clark, 55, Rachel Gokler, and number 24, Jillian Hyatt. Now for the Tigers starting lineup. That's number 23, Adam Blank, a freshman. Very impressive that freshman class is. Number 42, Logan Cobble. She is a senior. Another senior, Colleen Inyert. Number 33, Tara Hughes, she is a junior. And another junior, number 45, Brittany Black. The Lady Tigers are coached by Mark Anselman and Chelsea Kervicle. Um, assistant coach is also Clay Wheeler. All three history teachers here at RCHS. Brittany Black is in the middle for the tip off. And only wins the tip off. Logan Cobble has, nope, that is. Yeah, Logan Cobble. And a blank misses her first shot. Rebounded by number 10 of Marshall. Some good ball movement by Marshall. And the first shot by number 10, Allie Compton, is no good. And here it passes to Black down low. Missed by Black. Marshall passing the ball around, and it's turnover, out of bounds. Only ball. Logan Cobble will dribble the ball up the court. And 
and a blank drives, passes the black, nice play. And the assist goes to Anna Blank. That puts the Tigers up on the board. Number 10, Allie Compton, 4-3. And Blank passes to Logan Cobble. Logan Cobble tried three of her own, and it's no good. Rebounded by Allie Compton. And the first foul of the game is called on Brittany Black. That is Brittany's first foul, first team foul. Marshall will inbound the ball now. Good defense by Enyart, and it's no good. And we have a jump ball. The ball will go to Marshall. Passes inbounds and blocked by Anna Blank and a foul. I think that is on number 11 of Marshall. That is her first foul, first team foul. And loose ball picked up by Ali Compton. And she's gonna just stop right there. Loose ball, trapped in the corner, and they get it. Number 24 shoots, and it's good. That's her first basket of the game. That is number 24, Jillian Hyatt. And her blank dribbling up the court now. And your drives, passes the black on the inside, and it's good. That's her second shot of the game. The score is now five to four, Marshall. All four points coming from Brittany Black. Number 23, he shoots, and it's good. And that's Macy Clark for three. Logan Cobble tries a three of her own, and that's no good. Brittany Black with a good rebound on the inside. That shot's no good. Rebounded by Hughes, and it's good. And that is the first time out by Olney. The score is eight to six with three minutes and 46 seconds left to go in the first. I want to take this minute to say that I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I just would like to take this minute to say that if you have any comments about this broadcast, this is our first time doing this, please let us know in the comment section. I don't even know if you're hearing me say this because of the band, but so I will repeat it again. Um, if you have anything to say about this, some good comments, some bad comments, be nice about it, but comment down below so we're going to get back to the game so the score is eight to six uh logan cobble fights for that rebound sorry uh langston is not filming the game right now and the foul is on the shot on number 24 that is her second 
That is our first foul, excuse me. Blank hits the first one. The second one. And and now low. Good defense by Hughes. Logan Cobble holds it back. And a blank with the first shot, no good. Marshall, number 23 shoots, and it's good. That was Macy Clark, again, hitting the number three. That's her second of the day. Cobble passes the blank. Blank drives, and it's blocked. Gets her own rebound. They're fighting for the ball, and it's out of bounds off of Olney. Excuse me, off of Marshall, Olney ball. Marshall, or excuse me again, Brittany Black will step in for Colleen Inyert. Cobble passes the blank on the outside. Back to Cobble, three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Marshall, they're pushing up the floor, and she's gonna take a three of her own, and it's no good, and it's Olney's ball. Cobble will inbound to Blank. Blank dribbling up the floor. Haven Dahl is checked in now. The shot by Hughes is no good. Rebounded by number 55, Rachel Gokler by Marshall. Number 23, Macy Clark's shot is no good on the inside. Good defense. Anna Blank drilling up the court. She drives. Dumps it out to Hughes, and Hughes loses it. And Marshall's going to dribble up the court now. Good pass the inside. 24, Jillian Hyatt gets another basket. And that's her fourth points of the game. Cobble on the outside. Hands off the blank. Some good defense by number 11, Maya Osborne. Haven Dahl on the outside is no good. Rebounded by Marshall. It looks like Marshall's going to maybe dribble out the clock here. And that shot is no good. Fight for the rebound and it's the basket is good after the offensive rebound. Looks like Olney will get the last shot of the game, or of the quarter, excuse me. And a blank gets a three-pointer. And that will end the first quarter. Marshall with 15, Olney with 10. So. Um, I would like to take this time to point out the student section. It looks like it's cowboy theme day. So, Lexington, let's show the student section. Some good old western style cowboy hats over there. See some plaid shirts. 
This new section is part of One Tiger Nation. Brought by uh, Mr. Wheeler himself and only Lady Tiger basketball coach. One Tiger Nation's in its second year. Starting to include some music, uh, FBLA, FFA, some sports, all of the clubs. It's a good program what he has going on. We'll do a quick flip-flop here. Here, come sit over here. Like right here. And Anna Blank will dribble up the floor. Pass to Haven Dahl. Paige Sieber has checked into the game now. Colleen Inyard's first shot of the game is no good. Rebounded by Marshall. And a long three for Marshall is no good. Rebounded by Black. And a blank shot is no good. Bertie Black fights for the ball and gets the basket. That's her third basket of the game. Avondahl with the steal. Fighting down the court, and it's good. Avondahl gets a basket. It looks like Langston is joining me on the commentating side of things. How are you today, Langston? That's right, Colby. I'm here. I don't know too much about sports, but I can say it looks like it's going to be a great game between the Tigers and Marshall. I am also our uh, wonderful cameraman, and at the moment we are figuring out difficulties with the game and on the filming side, but as this segment progresses, I believe that we will get it down more smoothly. And... The shot by Marshall is no good. Uh, out of bounds as Olney's ball. Now, looking at my stats, Langston, um, I am one point off for Olney, and I don't know where I've gone wrong. So, Well, I do believe we have what it takes to make it through this game with a W. Yeah, I think so, too. They're passing... And Inyart will drive and shoot. And there's a foul. That is on number 10. That is her first foul. And Marshall's third team foul. Inyart will go to the line. This is Inyart's first try at the free throw line. And she hits the first one. And the second one is no good. The score is now 15-15, tie game. I want to do a little shout out to Mr. Powell, a great announcer for the Tigers and our team in general. He does a great job, a lot better than we are currently doing. Um, he has a little bit more experience than we that do. That is definitely correct, <laughs> Colby. There was a foul on Paige Steber. That is her first foul. Pass inside for Marshall. Good defense by Black. They pass back out. Number 11, shot no good. Offensive rebound. They're fighting for the ball. And it, Inyard comes up with it. Anna Blank driving down the floor. She passes to Inyard. Inyard drives. And a charging foul on Colleen Inyard. That is Inyard's first foul. Hughes will sub in for Inyert. And Logan Cobble's going in the game for Paige Sieber. We're currently at five minutes and 22 seconds left in the second period. Currently still tied. Marshall has the ball.
If you haven't checked it out, look at this week's recent update for the OTNN News. Some weather update from Stormweather Sieber. How to edit with Bryce. And a sports update from myself. Well, that was happening. And a blade drives on the floor and gets an and one. Score is now 17-15. Tigers taking the lead. And I will rephrase that. There was, it was on the floor, so that shot does not count from Anna Blank. I will also repeat that I do not know a lot about sports. Thank you for your patience. Logan Cobble hits a three-pointer there. Solid three-pointer for a one Tiger Nation. I think he's going to say that after every three-pointer that's made for Olney. We're going to definitely find out. Anna Blank is going up the court. Logan Cobble wide open for three. No good. Rebounded by Haven Dahl. Anna Blank's going to try shot her own. And it's good. Timeout, Marshall. Was that a second solid three-pointer? for the only one Tiger Nation. Special thanks goes out to the only Tigers band directed by Christopher Jones. Today is the uh, orange band, I believe. I also believe that Colby can agree with me that percussion is definitely the best. I, I will agree on that one. Uh, definitely drumline is better than a pit though. Uh, we'll agree to disagree. A good old marching band rivalry going on there. Marshall has the ball. Clean pass to 23. It's a six point lead for the Lady Tigers. Some good defense going on from the Lady Tigers. And the shot bounces off the backboard. That will be Alney's ball. Logan Cobble dribbling up the court. Anna Blake will drive. Look at that. Nice play by Anna Blake. Anna Blank is part of a really good freshman class. Won the state title last year in the eighth grade level. It was a good feat, had never been done before in only, I believe. I don't mark my words with that. I, I think that's correct, but. And Haven Dahl has checked into the game now. No, excuse me, Colleen Inyer for Brittany Block. That last shot was by Haven Dahl. Pass inside. No good. Rebounded by Dahl. Haven Dahl is a junior here at RCHS. And that shot by it. Logan Cobble is good. Looks like a solid three-pointer for only one Tiger Nation. 
Oh, my goodness. Marshall with the ball. Some good defense by Olney here. Currently less than two minutes in the second period. Only with a demanding lead of 26 to 15. Sorry, oh. 17 now. That was by number 55, I believe. Not really quite sure about that one, but. Inyard on the outside will make a risque pass to Anna Blank. Loses the ball, and that will be Marshall's ball. I just want to take a second to uh, say that we appreciate everyone for coming out here, both from Only Side and Marshall's. We also want to thank uh, Mr. Ryden for letting us use this camera and microphone. And Would have been great if we had a tripod, but we make do. Yep. Hughes loses the ball, gets it back, passes to Cobble. Now Inyer has the ball. We, we are, are down, down in the, the final minute. minute. Uh, was that Colleen that made that shot? I I would think so. I think I believe that was Inyer That's making that one. And uh, an offensive foul on Marshall. That will be their sixth team foul, I think. Oh, no, that is their fifth, excuse me. Logan Cobble will dribble the ball up the court. Pass to number 33. Back to 23. Oh, having some moves over there. Inyard makes a drive, and the foul is on number 55. And that is the team's sixth foul. Inyard going to the line for the second time of the day. She hits the first one. Second shot is good. And the shot is good. I just said that, Langston. Reiterating, Colby. Only is going to play some full court defense here to in the last 20 seconds of the half. What do you think, Colby? Should we count it down? No. All right, we won't count it down. And a foul on the inside with 7.5 seconds left. A very ecstatic Mr. Anselman on the sideline coaching up his team. That foul was on Hughes. That is her first of the game. Team's fourth. The line is number 24. Did she make the first one, Langston? Uh, I think so. I think. Let's check the camera. So she makes two for two at the free throw line. They got to get somewhat of a shot. Haven Dahl, wide open for three to end the half. And no there good. is a second period. And thank you for listening. We'll check back with you in just a minute. Welcome back. Uh, we're in halftime right now. Uh, 
the only Lady Tigers are winning 30 to 19. Um, some stats, um, Anna Blank has eight points, no, 10 points, excuse me. Um, Brittany Black has six. Um, Logan Cottle has six as well. Um, Uh, we're going to start a segment here at halftime. And what do I see in the Ron Heron gym? Uh, I see Mr. Jones kind of rocking it out over there. I see. Uh, see what else? I see some half court shooters. Let's see if hey, this kid hits one. Oh, ooh, almost close. Let's see if this kid can hit. Oh, another close one. I see some country bumpkins in the suit section. Let's zoom in on them. Look at all those country bumpkins. I see a bunch of trophies in the trophy case. Good old trophy room. I see Mr. Julia just standing there witnessing everything going on. I bet he enjoys that. Miss Marriott has just walked in the closed deck. <laughs> what? Why is this kid not playing in the band? Let's see if he makes it. Oh! Scores 30 to 19. Impressive game here so far. Uh, it's a little bit closer going into the second quarter. The Tigers pulled out away a little bit. Uh, once again, if you have any uh, feedback, just let us know. We're trying this out for the first time, and any comments would be appreciated. Make sure you keep it somewhat nice. You can give us some bad feedback. Just be nice with it. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Julian is trying the half court shot. Mr. Julian for half court. Oh. Disappointing. Oh, now there's some. I think this is a college girls team, maybe. Oh, a running start and a little too hard. Oh! Another one. That's like the fourth of the night. Oh. Oh. Almost made that one as well. Need <laughs> my I hope we cut that. I know it won't be cut. Okay, start the second half. The first shot is no good. Rebounded by Colleen Inyert. Our uh, lovely camera angle as always. You are back with Colby Gerard, and I am back with the one and only Langston Richardson. <laughs> you can catch us both on uh, One Tiger Nation News, better known as OTNN. Uh, we were both in Hot Shots, presented by the Spicy Boys. We're both in marching band. Yeah, that's correct. And Colby here is also a football player. And I'm a theater boy. That too. But no one really cares about theater. Whoa. What happened to One Tiger Nation, Langston? 
It's most Tiger Nation now. Ooh. I hope you know we are just kidding. We promote everything here at RCHS. We are very big supporters of One Tiger Nation. Or we would not be part of One Tiger Nation News. Quick bit of trivia. Uh, I am actually the one who came up with that name. After a week of going back and forth with names, we could not pick one. So it just became our name. And a blank with the steal. She's driving down the court, passes the Hughes, nice pass, and it's no good. The, rebounded by Anna Blank. And Cement calling out his play. And here it drives. No good. Gets a road rebound. And no good again. Hughes with the rebound. Passes the. Oh, no. Never mind. Marshall driving down the court. And a blade. Did not stop the fast break. And that was number 10 with the basket. So, Colby, when will our next only Tiger basketball game be? Um, Actually... It may be a while, depending on when the next girls' home game is. Ooh, a nice pass, but blocked. Some good defense there. Uh, but it looks like the next home game for the girls is not until 2019. Can you believe that, Langston? Wow. That's that almost is a month, month definitely worth. Definitely something. January 3rd against Florida is the next home game. That is on a Thursday. Um, the next boys game is at Paris on Thursday. I'm not sure of the next home game. So. This will probably be out tomorrow. That's correct. December 11th. But it very well may be December 12th. Depending on who that is. It. Ooh, nice pass on the inside. No good. And you're fight for the ball. Jump ball. Our Tigers putting up an immense fight. Score is currently 30 to 21. Tigers holding the lead. There is five minutes and six seconds left in the third period. It's been a great game so far, and it looks to do the same for a lot longer. And a blank, no good. Uh, Marshall gets the rebound. Ooh, some Ooh. good defense by Hughes. And a blank on the fast break. Oh, and it's good. Another basket by Anna Blank. That's 12 for her. Having a good game tonight. I gotta say, I see some children in the audience today. I mean, younger than even high schoolers. And it is a great thing to Anna see Blank young supporters the of the One the Tiger Hughes. Nation. No good. Oh, fast break. Ball on the floor, and it's Olney's ball. Haven Dahl checking in for Brittany Black. Cobble inbound the ball to Enyart. Enyart dishes out the Dahl. Some good ball movement by the Lady Tigers. Ooh, a good move by Inyart. And it's a foul. That will be the team's first foul. Colby, what is your thoughts on the game so far? Um, I think the Tigers are doing good. Uh, got out to a slow start, but they are doing fine now, up by 11. Now 12 as Inyart rolls one around the rim. Definitely an interesting game. But granted, every game is interesting with all our Tigers. And it's out of bounds off of Tara Hughes.
We are at three minutes and 40 seconds. Olney's winning 33 to 21 in the third quarter. Shot by Marshall is no good. Re offensive rebound and the putback is good. That was number 24 with the basket. Oh, good move by Anna Blank. I don't know about you, Langston, but if we keep this up, we may be getting a call from ESPN. I mean, I, don't, I that's definitely a future possibility there, Colby G. I mean, we are really good sports commentators. I mean, I've I only messed up a few times tonight. Ooh. There's a foul on that shot by Logan Cobble. She's going to go to the line. The foul was on number 11. You know, I think we need more energy, Colby. You think? I think we need more energy. I think we need to get pumped for our Tigers. The first Amazing shot is shot. good. Colby, I think this might be a bad time to say that uh, I forgot to hit record. I'm joking, of course, but oh, okay. that was pretty funny. That that was not funny. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> no, I, d I don't think that was funny. We have fun here, Tigers. Cobble hit the second one. Um, like I said earlier, we are hoping for a live broadcast. I, I, Possibly in our future. Yeah, it, it's it won't be a little tough, but... Possibility. Uh, you know what they say, anything is possible. <laughs> yeah, sure. Marshall calls their timeout of the second half. That's our first one. Only Tigers kicking in with another song from the RCHS band. The next uh, Tigers, Lady Tigers game is at Fairfield this Thursday, December 13th at Fairfield. Um, the boys are at Paris on this Thursday as well. So a bunch of away games this week for the Tiger basketball program. And the game is on. You know, Colby, I think we need a sponsor. I would like um, to say our sponsor is currently RCHS VAC Club. But in the future, if any... Uh, businesses or corporations feel that <laughs> we are indeed worthy of said sponsor. We might just need to do some business. I think we need to talk to McDonald's. I'm thinking Fox News. Whoa, that's a big jump there. Well, if we're going that high, we'll have ready. to go with a sports center like dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. Well, the thing is I don't really know much about sports at all. Haven Dahl on the line after the foul by Macy Clark. That is her second, team's third. Did she make that first one? Uh, probably. She missed the second one. I don't remember if she made the first one or not. Uh, that's a problem. We really need to pay more attention, like, and don't you say? I mean, you are the sports, and I'm the voice. Oh, and uh, I'm, I'm foul. Here accompaniment. Accompany. I'm here for a nice, well, you're not, smooth Well, you're not here for the sports, but you're definitely not here for the English either. <laughs> you know what they say. Chinese is my first language. Nobody <laughs> says that. I just did. Okay. Makes no sense. But, I mean, Yep. That first foul was on number 20 for the T 
Tigers. Um, according to the scoreboard, that was Logan Shan with the foul. That was the second team's foul. <clears throat> Logan Shan passes to Hires, who just checked in for the first time of the game. Black with a good play, just misses the shot. And that foul is going to be on Anna Blake. That is her first foul. one by number 24 from Marshall. She's having a good game. That is her 12th points of the game. Marshall has the ball. Marshall is shooting a free throw. Is that what it's called? Yes, that's what it's called. I am joking. I do know what a free throw is called. I don't know. You said a technical three-pointer on a OTNN today. Oh, lousy pass. Stolen by Marshall. For, uh, and effects? it's blo oh, oh, a foul called on Colleen and Yurt. She was going up for that rejection. Speaking of sports, Colby, did you see the uh, Bears play the Cubs over the weekend? Let me just take a moment to say the Bears are an NFL team while the Cubs are an MLB team, and it's not even baseball season. So and that foul was on Colleen Inyart. That was her second right. team's uh, third. It was the Cardinals versus the Cardinals. Again, that is an MLB team versus an NFL team. Um, there's a reason Langston is a host because, well, he can't do any uh, updates around the area for like Noe. Uh, he doesn't obviously know much about sports. <laughs> and, well, I mean, Bryce gets the honor to edit everything that comes into the OTNN studio. As well as our very own Mr. Ryden. Yeah, but Mr. Ryden just bosses us around all the time. And now a paid throw for the only Tigers. A what? Paid throw, you know, uh, like a free throw, but not. Because they just made bank. Please stop, Langston. And your breaks a second one. Oh. oh, and the foul gets an and one on that play. Marshall closing Never. the gap, now 37 to 32. Tigers still in the lead. One minute left in the third period here. Number 24 gets another basket. That is another basket. That She's having a good game. Brittany Black tagging in for Reagan Hires. She hits the free throw to make it a four-point game. So, Colby, when's the uh, halftime show? Halftime was a few minutes ago. No, I mean the halftime show when the marching band comes out. Oh, oh that, that's football, Langston. Exactly. Oh, a steal. And good for the fast break. It's a two-point game. Close game indeed. The Tigers have been a little sloppy in this quarter, have letting the Lions come back and make this a good game. Black from out. Uh, and a foul on Hughes fighting for that rebound. That's her second. That's the team's seventh foul, which 
puts you know, Marshall in the bonus. Langston, do you know what the bonus is? I do believe a bonus is when you get something extra. Colby with a major yawn. I'm tired, yeah. Taking pre-calc and, and physics. And not getting paid to yawn. We're not getting paid at all, Langston. That's the point. Mr. Ryan, a future idea for you. Mr. Wheeler counting them down. The shot's so good. Oh. He's with the rebound. And hey. they hit hey. it. Holy the Tigers, 39. Back. Marshall, 37. End of the third period. Hold well, some uh, math in my head. Uh, 37 minus 19 is 18, correct? I do believe that is correct, Colby. Here, I gotta work this out on the paper. So. Uh, Yeah. The band does seem to be, as the kids say, jamming out. Gonna pan the camera. And we would like to thank the RCHS band. They do a lot. They come to every game, and that is a lot of work to do. And they provide us with some good entertainment. Now let's get back to the game. Marshall has the ball. And you're playing defense down low. Passes, and uh, and they miss. Offensive rebound. And they miss again. Rebounded by Hughes. And you're dribbling up the floor. Passes the Cobble. Cobble makes a pass on the inside. Birdie Black. No good. Rebounded by Hughes. And it's good. Tara Hughes is putting herself a good game going. Oh, there seems to be a kid doing the worm in the corner <laughs> over there. <laughs> Let me just say, he's feeling the one Tiger Nation energy. Anna Blaine dribbling the ball up the court. Wide open light. And one! It's another two-pointer for the only Tigers. <laughs> only Tigers taking their... Oh, taking a timeout. Marshall takes a timeout, and that's their second of the game. Our uh, very own band playing a little beat. Let me just say, this is my jam. Colby, keep it for choir. <laughs> well, thank you, Langston. And I'm like shooting her free throw. No good. Oh. Rebounded by Hughes. Puts it back up. Oh. No good. That is disappointing. Still holding a solid lead. Of six points, right? I believe you are indeed correct. I'm telling you, I'm taking a college-level math class, but this math has been difficult for me tonight. Some around-the-world updates. Uh, the NFL had some pretty big upsets. We had the Dolphins beating the Patriots. Um, we had... The Cowboys having a big win off 
over the Eagles. I mean, I'm a Cowboys fan. You got to be happy about that one. I'm uh, personally a, a uh, horse fan. It's my favorite team. A what fan? The horses. Okay. Um, the Rams ended up losing to the Bears. Uh, that was a pretty interesting game. Haven Dahl with a rebound. Brittany Black with a good shot in the inside. Was that a solid three-pointer? No, it wasn't. That's because I didn't finish the same. Still another solid shot by very own Lady Tigers. Long three, no good by Marshall. Gets their own rebound. And an easy shot is made. Just a little weather update for the week. Uh, you can plan to see some colder temperatures actually rising a bit on Wednesday. Predicted at 50 degrees at the moment for the uh, high. And that shot is good for Brittany Black. She's having a good quarter. It's 47-40 here in beautiful, historic Ron Heron Gym, as the boys coach, Coach Flangen, would say. A pass on the inside is good for Marshall. I gotta say I love the support we're getting from our RCHS student section. And Heaven Doll hey. right into the scoreboard, keeping it a seven point game. There's five minutes left to go in this game. Seven now point we, lead we for the Lady the Tigers. Tigers will get a lead, and then they'll let Marshall catch up. Do you think that'll happen again? I have no way of knowing, Langston. Ooh, well, some I mean, as tight a defense. Sports correspondent, what is your personal take on the matter? Well, I mean. I'm from Olney, so I think Olney will come back, or not come back, but they will hold on and win this game, but that's a little bit of a biased opinion. And Marshall gets a good... Allie Compton again. That's her third basket of the quarter. And here it passes the Cobble. Cobble makes a drive... Oh. oh, and a tra travel is called. A good pass in the middle by Marshall. No good. Uh, rebounded by Tara Hughes. Oh, some moves by Anna Blank. Anna Blank shoots it and score. Uh, great two-pointer for the only Lady Tigers. And number 24 got to another Morgan basket. Another OTNN. He's down there in the band. Oh, I think uh, sometimes he's Jones Jr. He's always with Mr. Jones. I uh, would like to say on the record that I ship Ethan Stieber and Mr. Jones. But, but Langston, he's dating the homecoming queen, Delaney Shryock, another OTNN reporter for entertainment. Isn't that cute? We have our own little business relationship. Ali Compton gets the end one there. Also, um, if you have any ideas that you think we should do on OTNN, drop them in the comments as well. We are open to anything. We just want to make the people of Olney, Illinois happy. Um, 
honestly, in my opinion, the sports segment's getting pretty up to date. We're, like I said, we're trying to make the um, live broadcasting a thing, but that's kind of tough at the moment. I believe we have the technology that we can eventually achieve that goal. As I make myself more comfortable, as I watch into the uh, fourth period here. Marshall gets the ball. That's a three-point game here. I don't know. Oh, they're going to tie the game. No good. It's all these balls. Some excited fans in the crowd. And only calls a timeout. Colby currently on his phone texting someone. Oh, I do believe that is Snapchat. <laughs> Little fun tip out there. One Tiger Nation has a Snapchat. Well, what's the Snapchat called? Uh, that would be a Ask Mr. Wheeler question. Actually, You I can't advertise the Snapchat without knowing the Snapchat. Our uh, One Tiger Nation Snapchat is One Tiger Nation, no spaces, capital letters for each word. It is also the same for our Instagram. Ryan, put a look up there, or Bryce, if you're editing this. One Tiger Nation is our Snapchat. Capital O N E, capital T I G E R, capital N A T I O N. There's also our Instagram. Oh, and some good defense by Hughes. Rebound by Marshall. No good again. And it's out of bounds. Off of only Marshall Ball. It's a three point game. We're getting into the. Late minutes of this game, two minutes and 15 seconds. And if the voice that Colby is currently doing annoys you, please let us know. <laughs> and if you'd like Colby to use a more smooth voice, or if you. Smooth voice. What you got? Smooth. No, n no. No, thank you. If you want me to get into it like this, and a pass to number 21 for Marshall. Then let me know. Two minutes left in the game. We're open to any ideas because we don't know what we're doing, to be honest. We are very flexible. Not physically, I will say. And the three is no good. Hughes with the rebound. We're down to a minute and a half, 40 seconds-ish. And a Blake passes the cobble. And a timeout called by Holney. RCHS band kicking in with another great song. Colby, what do you think the song is? I think it's called Apache, maybe? Apache. 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 One of them. I also believe that might have offended some people with your pronunciation. But. 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 People up here are moving and grooving to the band's music. Me and Colby up here. Bop. I would also like to say that um, this Sunday, I believe it is the. Uh, what do you believe it is, Colby? Uh, maybe the 16th, I think. Um, 
the RCHS Choir will be at the OCC Community Choir for the Christmas concert. I had to think about what to say there. Um, here's the thing. If, if you need to know a time, you'll have to look for it a little bit because you I don't know the know. time. <laughs> Just show up at OCC Theater and uh, be there all day, and then you'll see the concert. So Support our one Zyger Nation. There was a foul on Marshall, number 11. You see any familiar faces around here, Colby? Well, I mean, I see a bunch of classmates uh, on the girls' basketball team. I see three history teachers down there, the girls' basketball coaches. Uh, Mr. Powell's announcing the game. He's a science teacher. I mean, driver's ed teachers down there, too, Mrs. Van Dyke. Mr. Jones is directing the band. Uh, we have our two assistant prin two principals, excuse me, Mr. Julian and Mr. Lacrone. Um, I mean, a big student session. Uh, a bunch of people I know. That tries that free throw is good by Brittany Black. So that shot's so good. And hey, they're fighting for it. Indeed secure this victory. Offensive rebound. Let's place them as a win to loss ratio. And uh, we're now down to our last minute, 58 seconds. Colby is currently playing with his mic cable <laughs> like a small child. And the Let first free throw by Cobble is no large. good. Child. Hughes gets the offensive rebound. Another big rebound for the only Tigers. And another foul by Marshall. That puts him in the ninth team foul. Sorry. And they missed the first free throw. Marshall gets the rebound. Oh, almost traveled there. They got to push it up the floor. Only needs to play some good defense here. Oh. Some good passes on Marshall's front. Number 10 has the ball. They got a, they got a score here. No, a deep three. three. No good. Close Rebounded by three. Anna Blank. Nothing. And a foul. 25.1 seconds left on the clock. It's a four-point lead by the Lady Tigers. And Anna Blank going to the free throw line. That is the 10th team foul. So that puts only in the double bonus. The first free throw is good. Great shot by only. I think we're going to have some overlapping here. What is that? You and me both talking about the same thing. And the second free throw is good by Anna Blank. Six-point lead by the Tigers. Into our last 20 seconds of the oh, fourth and, and final period. Timeout Marshall after that layup. Which means we get... <laughs> Which means we get to hear the RCHS band one more time. And Colby just dropped some batteries. Very good job, Colby. Thank you. Colby over here is now jamming out to the RCHS band. To be wild, boy, to be wild. Boy to be a boy to 
be wild. Man, just call me ACDC. You know what I mean? More like no thank you. Marshall with the ball. Goes for a three. No good. Oh, offensive rebound. There's 10 seconds left. They got to get a shot. Going for another three. Oh, no good. Hughes with the rebound. They're, they're going to go. Four, three. And a foul. Down to our last three seconds. Tigers 54, Marshall 50. We have had a good game today. It's 54-50 with 3.2 seconds left. First free throw is no good. Taking the shot. No good. No good. They're going to try the deep shot. No good. And that. Tigers win 54 to 50. Another amazing game. Thank you, One Tiger Nation, for watching, listening, and being a part of this great game. Anna Blake leads the Tigers tonight with 18 points. And that wraps up a 54 to 50 only victory. We'll see you later. I'm Langston Richardson. And I'm Colby Jard. Goodbye.